Okay, hopefully third time's a charm. <laughs> the stream has not gone according to plan. It hasn't gone according to plan at all. Okay, I think we're all hunky dory now. It looks like on my phone, <laughs> we're not having as big of a lag spike at the moment. Hopefully, we get some viewers back. <laughs> that was uh, not going according. Well, I was sitting here trying to get everything reloaded because the as soon as I mentioned on that stream on the previous that. I forgot to plug the laptop in. It instantly died. Like the comedic timing just could not have been better. Oh. Okay, got the black on where I wanted. <laughs> Hooray for me. Hooray. I'm not using the rubbing buff. If I do the rubbing buff, though, I kind of have to do that last. So we'll work on these real quick. Do the lights. Do a little bit of the rubbing buff. And then set them aside. So everything can harden. Didn't have a cap on it for fudging reasons. I don't understand. Had some white. Hey, there it is. Shake it up real good. Hopefully we get everybody back in here. I want to monetize it, but I think the way YouTube is, I don't want to load another app <laughs> and try to deal with this. Uh, this is not going in my favor. Double check and make sure everything's working still. Looks like it. Let me reshare this to the Discord. Since hopefully this stream will not fudge up for the umpteen million time. Hey, King Kong. Glad we have a celebrity here. Man, that was rough. <laughs> I don't know what kept happening with it. Because first, the first section, I, I think it really janked up because of... I don't think laptop performance, but I think it was because of error slash YouTubes, and then I, it reset it, everything on my laptop. And then the second part was just... Forgot to plug it in. Plugging it in helps. But what I'm going to do here is I got this little brush that I snipped just so it's a little more rounded. And what I really want to do is just go around this light here just to add a little bit of white around the edges. Same with the eyes. And then, yeah, I think we're back. I think we're good. I checked on checked the stream on my phone. Everything it doesn't seem like it's lagging anymore. I think we're good. Laptop decided to die. That's why the stream crashed last time. The crazy girl. So I was going to try to highlight this with like a little bit of dry brushing. With the whites. And then I'm going to go back over it with the yellow. But I'm using the white because I want to brighten it up a little bit. So when I put the yellow on, it looks even brighter. Don't laugh at the name. Crazy Carl's a fine name.
Carl was in the first Sonic movie. Was he the uh, the deputy? Is that Carl? I'm trying to remember now. It's like the random off characters. I don't remember names. It's not bad. Be there. There we go. Paint your goji? Uh, it all depends on what you're looking for for the paint job. Profile pick seems fine. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna go get. Oh, actually, I guess I do have some clean water already hanging out here. I'll just use this. No, nah, not too much. Everything working again. Everybody loves Raymond. Solid show. Solid show. Hey, Lady Draco. You'll see, I'm just kind of spreading around the yellow a little bit just to make it look a bit glowy. And then I'm going to go back over with the whites a little bit. Hopefully, too. Hopefully, the stream stays working. In the bathroom at work. Always the best time to check out videos is in the bathroom at work. Hey, Scary Gary. Man, everybody with the two syllable names. I think I just took off some of the white there. Going good. Going real good. Uh, for the most part, anyways. 
aside of the beginning issues. Um, compared to the other one, it's probably like, I think five to six is about where it's going to end up. Will I see it again in theaters? Um, probably not. Unless I find somebody that wants to go with me. I like how it's... <laughs> Thanks, antivirus. It's like, hey, you want to restart your laptop again? No, no, I do not, antivirus. Get out of here. Restarted it enough today. Um, it's hard for me to set times to go do stuff like that with the baby. Heck, it's sometimes hard for me just to do this kind of stuff with the baby. <laughs> Say, eh, we got some time before that one. That's for sure. We'll get past the toddler stage first, and then I'll worry about the teenager. Oh, thanks. I like my Sailor Moon shirt, too. <laughs> well, to be fair, uh, what, my oldest brother just turned 18? So I've been dealing with him. <laughs> and the youngest is just now hitting there. My brothers are very young. Compared to me, anyways. Now, re-hit it with the white in certain areas, and then be pretty good there. Hey, of all gods, Elephant. Doesn't care, we're doing good. They're upstairs hanging out with and the baby. Having a good time from the sounds of it.
As you guys can probably hear from upstairs. <laughs> All right, have a good one, Gary. No, I haven't done the Godzilla yet. Make your baby paint a bigger. That sounds like a horrible idea. As much as I love my child, <laughs> but she's going to see the paint and instantly want to stick it in her mouth. It's going to work for her. Hey, I remember you about the Atlas Destroyer. No, I'm not telling my Atlas Atlas Destroyer. I was kind of padding it because I wanted it to be a little looking center. It's kind of a cheat way of making it look sort of airbrushed without airbrushing it. That part still looks a little dark. Let's say if I was going to be selling mine, it wouldn't be for a hundred. <laughs> to be fair. Then if I sell it, then I gotta find a new one. I don't wanna do that. There we go. Look should head around the outside. Pretty happy with that. Got a little light coming off. Looks like it's glowing a little bit. Not super exaggerated. Hands on the camera really nice. I'll be honest, I'd have to look it back up to see like what's the current going rate for that guy, and then I'd also probably have to get a little bit extra just to make it worth my time. That's a good don't want to sell it, so just one of those things. Okay, next is the fun rub and buff part. Which I don't know exactly where my silver is. I think it was hanging out around. Hey, there it is. Need something to put the rub and buff on. Hmm. Let's look around, see if I had a random. Got a piece of pink foam. That'll probably work. A little bit out here. Now this stuff is actually what is this? Wax, wax paint. 
people use this stuff uh to like refurbish metal like uh lamps and stuff like that you don't need a ton because a little bit of this stuff goes quite a long ways It also gets everywhere, so that's something you gotta be concerned about. <laughs> I say this what uh, this particular one's from the uh, What If series. Oh, I just got a blob all over the bridge, as you do. This kind of, when you're painting. Yeah, I'm just knocking everything down. Nah, technically he's from a uh, Captain America <laughs> from the Captain America episode. It's Tony Stark pilots this. Uh, well, this, that brush isn't gonna work anymore. <laughs> Bad day for me. I got this little guy here. We'll use this. And this. Gonna use this a little bit of this and just start kind of making a little nux nicks on parts where you think like on around side edges stuff like that just where you think there would be some damage and a little bit more character Okay, stop spamming the chat about selling the Atlas Destroyer. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. <laughs> it's like, I need a second board child for it. A bit on the handrails. This one custom? No, this was a Marvel Legend. I just modifying it to make it look a little bit more like how it did in the sh well, not quite how it did, but he wanted it kind of gritty looking. The original figure is pretty clean overall. Yeah, repainting it. Not a hard repaint. It's pretty much just weathering, but a little work on it.
The hands look super scuffy because these are primarily, let's be grabbing things quite a bit. So I would think the paint would be coming off quite a bit on these. Favorite action figure is a bit of a tough one. Um, generally speak, I say it, like my favorites that I own, anyways, probably like either MP10, the uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Really like the Soul Shigoku and Gypsy Danger too. Those are both really good ones. It's kind of hitting around the screws a little bit to give them more color. Again, trying to hit these like edges to make them look a little more metallic. Because if he's going to fall anywhere, these are the parts that are going to scuff. Same with the boots, just in general. Favorite movie? Uh, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live action. Oh, it's like Casey's being ornery upstairs. So I did all this actually a while ago because you'll see some of this has some scuff marks on it originally. As I say here, and I did enough weather just to kind of make me happy. It was mainly just adding, kind of doing what I'm doing here, just adding some silver scuffs and everything. But since this one's going away, this guy is a commission. I want to make it look a little better. This will help make them stand out a bit more. You know, they could probably be maybe a little bit more accurate. <laughs> but when I'm doing weathering, I try not to think about it too much. Because the more, more you're trying to be precise 
when you're weathering, honestly, I think the worst it's going to look. Also, I'm kind of in the camp that I think with the weathering, you can generally go a little harder than you think you can, should be able to. Plus, if you think you went truly crazy, you can always kick it down a little bit after the fact. All right, kind of digging that. Not too crazy. There's a little bit of highlighting here and there. Finally, the one thing that I want to have a bunch of silver on is the gun here. And the nice thing is because of the hands here, I don't have to quite care about how well <laughs> about being clean about it because whatever silver, extra silver would come off is just going to go on the hand anyways. And we kind of want it to look metallic. Anyways, so works out in our favor. Oh, it's nice, super shiny. Ugh. He's done. You'll see. One thing about rubber buff, you got to worry about is getting it all over yourself. Because uh, the more things you touch, it doesn't quite cure very fast. And I always forget that. And I tend to get a little too handsy, and then stuff just rubs off on you. But again, like I said, it kind of works a bit in your favor. All that being said, oh, I rubbed off quite a bit of the bit of it around nuts and stuff that I. Try not to. I think from here on out, I'm just going to leave them alone. <laughs> and after I say that, I kind of want to get some around here.
let that do its thing. You can hang it on the floor for a bit, to be honest. <laughs> Same thing with this real quick. Nice and gritty. Oh, if anything, I should probably need a little more. Over the two, but. Don't need a ton more, but like I said, I gotta hit along the edges here. Leave it alone for a bit. Probably clear coat it. Good on that one. Just about to <laughs> stick that in the water. I ain't gonna do a damn thing. Do you got little heads? Oh, uh, they're for the Haya. Because the Haya takes two. All right, so get this guy back out. Drink real quick. Okay, so for this, we're going to be kind of doing the same thing I did with the Godzilla Minus one, where we're doing, put some white, more whites on the spines, and then going back over them with the blue dry brushing, and then I'll probably go over it with a dark, a little bit darker afterwards. Yo, I need iridescent whites. We're just going to mix it with model paint that I was using earlier. Quite a bit more in there. He has been decapitated. I'm just doing this so that the white has got a little bit of a pearl look to it. Oh, I have a giant glob on my brush, which I don't usually quite recommend. I could paint it pink, but that's not the, uh, the request of the commission. Also, not the right Godzilla. <laughs> like, it would be kind of weird to do this one pink. Also, you could primer this. One thing I mentioned before, usually with spines, I tend to not worry about primering. Because you can usually get most of the job done with without it. Because it's not an area where the paint's going to be really rubbing off because you're not going to be coming into contact with too many things with it. Pretty much going to coat the entire spine with this, and then we'll do the dry brushing over top. I 
I know some guys all stuff in terms of like custom. I like doing my like my own. I haven't really thought about doing like a unique one just for me, but I have been wanting to actually do some like sculpting, uh, make like a proper like Godzilla statue or something. I don't know if it turned out good, but it's just a thought I had. Let's see if I can get this torso down a little bit more. There we go. Make my life a little easier. Like maybe doing a Shin Godzilla or something. Hey, King Charcharoo? <laughs> Is that how you say it? King Chacharu. Make sure I get pretty good to the base of the spine. It doesn't have to be super pretty while you're doing this because the outside you're gonna be dry brushing anyways. But you really wanna make sure that the white gets in like all the crevices. And with Godzilla's, I usually tend to do one section. I do all the spines in one direction, and then I'll flip-flop, do them in the other. The inside spines are always the most pain in the butt one to do. Jen's being a spears. Run around all up there. Oh, it's always fun making your own comic. Yeah, man, we've been watching Bluey with Casey, and I just have the theme song stuck in my head, and I'm trying not to hum it out loud. <laughs> Usually, if I'm not recording these, I have music playing in the background. Usually keeps me distracted. Can't quite do that with the streams. YouTube's copyright department will hunt me down. I watch like some Twitch streams and they play like generic, well, not generic, but like, copyrighted music. You're just like, how do they get away with it? I want to get away with it too.
Oh, I guess I didn't really need to paint that spine. Uh, well, now that I did it, now I gotta... Man, that's all that matters. Like, <laughs> like they say, practice makes perfect. Like, if you don't try, you're not going to get any better at it. Plus, Kind of like doing the sculpting. Like, I really want to do it, but I have to, like, dedicate some time to actually sit down and do it. And it might not look awesome right off the get-go. The only thing I got going for me is doing a lot of these commissions. I got a lot of practice doing small-scale stuff. It'd be cool. And then again, just more practice to get better at this. It's like even painting, like painting these things. Like I've definitely gotten better at it over time. Because even at looking at my first thing, first figure, I painted I would say isn't bad but it's a bit rough <laughs> compared to what I do nowadays but again you always gotta start from somewhere I think my only saving grace is I've pretty much been doing art stuff all my life, so. I've had a lot of practice. So if you like the MonsterVerse, higher stuff's good. And if you'd like to, I guess I'll do my, do a little plug now, but if you'd like to get high figures like this for yourself through CowKissToys.com, you can save 6% off your order with code Steve Calkiss at checkout. Plus they ship out pretty much as fast as Haya does, and they charge free shipping. Well, Haya stuff. If you order directly from them, it is a good $30 extra to ship. So it seems a little cheaper to do it that way. Like when you're first checking out the site, because you're like, oh, hey, they got the Godzilla figures up for retail at 60 bucks. Alcus wants 65? Oh, <laughs> they charge you freaking $30 to ship it to your house. Plus, after the discounts, it's pretty much ends up about the same price anyways. Oh, for Monsterverse? Honestly, my Monsterverse collection isn't super extreme extravagant in terms of price. Like it's probably what it's one of the highest. I would say nowadays. Just gotta do it here, and then I'll probably do a little bit of dry brushing with the white. Just at the base of the figure, so when I do the blues, it'll look brighter at the bottom than it will at the top. 
kind of the philosophy with the um way I did the lights on the hydro stopper. And just a little bit of why. Because then the base blue of this figure will sort of work how it is. But the blue, when I go to dry brush the blue over top, it'll be a little the base here. I like that. Bam. <laughs> now he looks more heisei. <laughs> uh, my age, I am 37. I am ancient. Okay, let that sit for a sec. Do these ones. Do Oh, you're that old lady, Draco? I didn't even know. <laughs> I figured you're I, I figured you're younger than me. Actually my birthday's coming up too. Not too much longer now. Slow a quick dry brush in at the base here. Too crazy, but for the mouth here, because I like the blue. Well, I say that, but I might change it. Now we do the dry brushing, switch brushes. Shocking indeed. I feel like I've been lied to this entire time. And so next I gotta make a metallic blue. Like I've been lied to about something that I never asked. Ow. And these god hand nippers just attacked me. How could they? Blue. I think I had some more metallic silver. <laughs> it's not like you're old it's not like really 37 it's old old we still got plenty of time Okay, and some blue, just uh, to into the blue again, just to give it a little bit of a shine. Nothing too crazy, and then I'm just gonna lightly go over it.
The new Emperor deck I saw? Yeah, that's a bootleg, though. <laughs> Great, if you want to get it, might as well. It is neat. That is for certain. Um, Not 100%, because I still got to do some sculpting today, too. I got to work on for work on a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to stream that though. Like I'll probably paint this, shut the stream off and then work on the sculpting I got to do. So it definitely feels like it's been on. The amount of early hiccups and what have you. Right now, I'm just adding a little bit of paint here and there just to make sure I get decent coverage because the spine should be pretty darn freaking blue. Which, that's looking pretty. Because I'm going to darken this blue up and go in with a smaller brush and kind of try to get around the edges a little bit. That's same thing. This guy. Plus what this does too, the way I'm doing it is the blue that we left on kind of tints to what I had, to what I'm shifting it to. Helps to blend it in again without having to like repaint the entire thing. So it saves some time. For me, also I don't have to charge as much because I'm not, again, tearing the entire thing apart and redoing it. Or having to sit here and reprimer everything. The only thing that's gonna be a little bit of hiccup is with these parts, like the blue is gonna look a little slightly different than the mouth. And this one I can kind of change. And just go over it lightly to tint it. Like you see me doing now. But the other mouth, it's meant to have the beam shoved into it. So there's no point in putting paint on it because it's just going to come right off when I, when you do. Okay, okay. I got that. Any slightly smaller brush? I think I had one here. Keep losing my little paper towel that I had in between my legs.
Oh, you're not feeling good? That sucks. I know what that is. Oh, uh, this cuts some Godzilla because the guy wanted to look more like it did in the movie. Plus, it was free. Well, it's, it's just a, it was the wrong one sent in, so. Take a little bit of blue. Put the new part. Have some black. I'm gonna kind of keep darkening it. Oh, actually, you know what? I do have some graphic paint, which wouldn't dumb down the metallicness of the paints. There we go. Bunch of that off the brush. That's a go. I'm just gonna kind of hit around the edges. Here. Kind of darken the top a little bit. Oh, my phone? Uh, it's a Galaxy. <laughs> I forget the brand or what the official name of it is. Actually, sorry, it's not a Galaxy. It's a Samsung, but it's not a Galaxy. It's one of the other brands that they do. Because my Galaxy that I had broke on a rotor when I was cleaning drains. So I had to like hastily buy a new one. That's what I ended up with. Anything. I'll hit the outsides of these. Then I'll go back through and do the other side. But I try, to, like I said, I try to stick the one side at a time. I might even do one more pass of possibly just the straight ear descent at the tippy tops of the spikes, just to darken them a little bit harder. Oh. 
this side, you can kind of see what I'm going for now. Yeah, as I was gonna say, I've always really liked the galaxies, so that's why I was sticking with those. And they always tend to do like a promotion or whatever, or you can like get it fr well free. But if you're signed up for so long. Apples are fine. I never had one. But I have, like, I mess with them. Like, my mother-in-law has... She has apples. And I will say, I find it kind of frustrating to use a phone. I, I can't say if it's just from a lack of not really... Knowing them too well, but I don't know. It just seemed to be a little bit more frustrating to use. For me, anyways. Oh, I like my Galaxy design. I think it does like good cameras. Like I've done some. Like you've seen some of the streams with it. They're really good. These spines are popping. And the inside spines are always the most pain in the butt part to get. I'm also trying to kick down the white a little bit towards the top on certain sections. Because you see him shoot, it's not like white all the way up. Yeah, not to toot my own horn, but these are looking pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> oh, no, I don't mind questions. Those are not the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. We're cool. <laughs> because at least you're chatting, so. Otherwise, it'd just be kind of boring. Me just sitting here, just being quiet, just randomly shivering. Hey, Emu. We're back. We're live. It's working. It only took three tries. All those Spitfires, these are probably like the paint jobs I've done the most out of anything. <laughs> so I would hope by now that they look good. Hey, 
Hey, Poland. Oh, it might be here already. Amazon package came today. <laughs> that already showed up. <sighs> Let's go check that out in a bit. Okay. Well, that's pretty much the spines. So I could probably go maybe a little bit dark around the edges, but honestly, I kind of like the way that looks. It shows up on the camera really well. What do you guys think? I hope I have a head on. <laughs> Just the show. Uh, I might add a little bit of blue on the neck. I killed it, but looking at it now, it'd be a little bit too hard of an edge to not there. So, solve that problem quick. Yeah, that's better. Little transition, nothing crazy. Do the same thing with this. Not going super heavy with the blue, just kind of dry brushing it on a little. Just so it illuminates, but it's not overtaking anything. Oh, three packages. I want three packages. Okay, and then for the body. Might hold off and do that a different stream because we already been going for quite a bit. Make sure the blue, make sure the guy likes the blues. I don't know if Art's still here. Now, there's not really a reason to do a Scar King custom because we're going to get a figure. So it's like, I can make a Playmates posable, but like, what's the point, you know? We're going to get an authentic one at some point. Now, it might need like better paint job, but. Oh, the popcorn bucket arrived today? Dope. So, yeah, looking. Schmixies. Digging that. But yeah, I'll probably call the stream good here because, like I said, I still got to box this dude up today. Ooh, as I destroy the camera. But he's going out today for a buddy. And this movie, Godzilla. Yeah, like I said, I. I would it be hard pressed to believe it wouldn't have a whip? Because if anything, the one thing I could see it not having is maybe the little crystal on the end that it, he was using. The other fun one, I got a couple, I still got one or two touch ups to do. Here's the Treadmaster Zilla paint. It's all done, but right around the leg, I got to clean it up a little bit on the side. So I want to fix that before I send it. And then I still got to put the um, 
rots through there. Ooh, actually, I still have to do that for you. Glad I looked at that before I left, <laughs> before I sent it out. Um, do I have... Not that one. I want the clear one. Clear one's way over there. Oh. There's some nippers over yonder. End pieces. Hey, Evolved Godzilla. I put this in so the leg won't pop off. It's one of those, like, it's not necessary for this guy, but it's still nice to get through the hole now. All right, why aren't we fitting? It's like, it sort of goes through one side, does not want to go through the other. There we go. Sweet babies. Look, Stro. Flush, snippies. Cool. All right. Got those in. Now we can go bye bye. <laughs> that was a fun stream. Uh, like I said, probably be doing probably be an actual video tomorrow. I'll probably have the review for the five family figures out tomorrow. Got the 72, uh, got the higher con in. So be hopefully get our nose over so we can do those reviews. Oh, fun. With the, uh, the custom. Use the Bandai vinyl? No, there's going to be a bit of a delay, but... Anyways, help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys like you will today, which channel to donate. Greatly would appreciate it. I keep saying Pinterest. I mean 100% to say TikTok. <laughs> so used to saying that for so long. Uh, if you guys like to pick up some high Godzilla's for yourself, link in the description for Calcus Toys. Save six percent off your order using Steve Calcus at checkout. Or if you're looking for some stateside collectibles, like the aforementioned Spy Family figures, you can check out the link for Entertainment Earth. Yeah, you're right, Paul. It's very much like NECA and High Monster Arts had a child. And you got a little bit less posability, but way better looking Godzilla figures. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see you guys.